You have to hear me out, Captain. I've always stood by you. I committed mutiny for you. But if you bring those... things on board, I'll have no choice but to resign. If they're taken to the Ophelia, they will be forced into new bodies, brought back to life in a way they never asked for. They're not living beings, but they're still dangerous. And if you don't make decisions to protect us, we're gonna end up like Solano. You, me, the entire crew. We're all next. Two minutes and counting. It's headed straight toward the vault. The Ophelian is coming into view now, Captain. On screen. Second vault in less than a minute. I would remind you, those life forms are Tekoff. Not science, Tekoff. They're not your enemy. Right or wrong, history will judge you for this moment. Destroy the vault. Aye, Captain. Firing photon torpedoes. Target has been destroyed. I am alone. Again. As I was. For all those years. I'm sorry. Sorry, are you? Meaningless. Words do not unwind the clock. Captain, the Aphelion is targeting us. Approaching rapidly. They hit us with that bioforming ray and it's over. Maximum warp, get us out of here. Where, Captain? Anywhere but here. Now! You did what had to be done with the Tasker. I know you held out hope, but it's what she would have wanted. The Tasker can rest now. Even if I wavered in the moment, there's no way she saved herself from that ship. I'm sorry you lost your friend. In her final moments, I'm sure she counted you as a friend as well. Surprises here. But your shoulders separated. If you come with me to Sick Bay, we can get you fixed up in no time. Uh, thank you. 
I'll find you afterwards. You two, check in at your stations. This thing isn't over yet. Diaz. Yeah? Did you see our people over there? Miranda? Kapoor? Hauser? We saw Miranda and Kapoor, but they're bioform. And as far as I know, there's no way to undo it. That means they're not our friends anymore. If they attack us? We'll have to stop them. No matter what it takes. Yeah. I, I guess we have to be ready for that. I can't believe it, but I'm actually looking forward to seeing Chobok. Not that I'd expect this kind of welcome from him. But I can just imagine the look on his face. Oh, come on, he's gotta give us some credit for all we've done. We'll see. Then again, if he doesn't, that's just Chovak being Chovak. I can't believe it! You evaded the Takan, ejected their warp cores, and lived to talk about it! That about sums it up. They're gonna be teaching this at the Academy for years to come. I mean it! Everybody's gonna learn how you pulled it off. Yeah, when they do, make sure they get my name right. D-I-A-Z. Diaz. It's Lars too. I'm sure no one will forget. I heard about Bell. Is Miranda... As far as we know, she's still out there. Well, I know Captain Rydek will do her best to get her back. Hold on. Rydek? What about Captain Solano? He was turned into a Takan. Rydek had to take over. She's a hell of an officer, but none of us have been up against anything like this. No one has. Not in half a million years. I guess there's never a dull moment around here, huh? You're telling me it's not always like this? Not if we can help it. <clears throat> Talk to you later. It is agreeable to see you again. Is that so? It was by no means a certainty that you would return to duty here. It's great to be seen, boss. There were a few moments out there off the ship where I wasn't really sure we'd be making it back either. Everything here in engineering is kind of a sight for sore eyes. Indeed. You should know your absences left engineering terribly short-handed. During your sojourn, this department has fallen unacceptably behind schedule on both regular and irregular duties. There's been a whole lot of irregularity going around. Seems like you could use some help around here. We're ready to go to work. I'd like to catch my breath for at least a few minutes, Carter. Normally, I would assign you to one of the many pressing repair tasks. But, given your experience on board the Zeldi, I have suggested you join the senior staff briefing as we determine our next course of action. You can commence your maintenance shift afterwards. When I heard you destroy the Takan vault, I was surprised. By my order? By myself? Surprised that I was glad to hear it. The Hotari do not wage war or kill our enemies if we can avoid it. But hearing that the Takan, who have decimated my people, took such a loss... Is it wrong that it feels like justice? We've lost so much to the Takan. We sometimes have to take lives in the line of duty. But we can never take pleasure in it. Unnecessary evil? One of many. Oh, that's coming along nicely. Thank you, Tylus. I'll take it from here. We're almost done. I have to brief Ambassador Spock in a few minutes. Ambassador Spock can wait. You have some fences to mend. I know you had your reasons for destroying the Taconian crystals. And I won't question them. 
Hopefully this galvanizes the bridge crew behind your leadership. But I expect there will be fallout with Portal. Assuming he's still with us, I sincerely doubt he's indifferent to what happened. One of Captain Solano's many strengths was that he welcomed opposing views, and I feel the same. So please don't ever hold back. That doesn't necessarily mean I'll agree, but I want to hear your thoughts either way. Good, because I'll give you my unvarnished opinion whether you want it or not. It's been a chaotic last few days for everyone. You need to name a new first officer in preparation for what's coming. It basically comes down to Westbrook, Ermot, or Bedrosian. Obviously, there are pros and cons with each, but ultimately, the decision is yours. Commander Westbrook has seniority and was hoping to be Captain Solano's first officer. Lieutenant Pedrosian has always been devoted to you. And Ermot has the knowledge and experience that makes him more than qualified. If I were to take everything into consideration, then Lieutenant Pedrosian feels like the perfect fit for the position. Well, despite a lack of seniority, still a solid candidate. Some would argue, though, that you wanted to go the easy route. Someone less likely to disagree with you. But that's entirely your prerogative. You're as good as new. Thank you, Dr. Duvall. Always nice to have a captive audience. You really shouldn't keep Ambassador Spock waiting. We'll have Ambassador Spock via subspace shortly. Thank you, Mr. Armand. Petty officers Diaz and Edsalar have first-hand experience with our adversaries. I thought it advantageous for them to join this briefing. I understand this is unusual, but I trust you have no objections? Talk about moving up in the world. These are unusual times, Mr. Chobak. In all seriousness, what Diaz and Edsalar accomplished aboard the Zeldi is nothing short of remarkable. They're both to be commended, not only for surviving against incredible odds, but for helping our efforts against these science. You know, Carter deserves most of the credit. None of us would have made it without his help. We'd all be bioformed by this point. Well, I could say the same thing about Etzelar here. She deserves as much of the credit as I do. It's like a mutual admiration society. Ambassador Spock is ready for you. Put him through. Captain Rindek, your recent change in station certainly warrants mention, and I trust you to faithfully execute your expanded duties. Right now, we must keep our attention on the clear and present danger that lies ahead, the Takan and their warship. The closest populations are the Hotari and Elidian systems, and they are likely the first targets for mass bioforming. After that lies Federation space. I have advised Starfleet Command to send an impromptu battle group to intercept and assist you, but that will take time. You are our first line of defense. And with our shield algorithms compromised, we are at a great disadvantage. I'm glad to hear the battle group is en route, Ambassador. With what we're up against, we're gonna need all the help we can get. And you will have it. Remember, our strength is drawn from our ability to work together towards a common goal. Have we made any progress in finding a way to defend ourselves from the Aphelion's bioforming weapon? Currently, our shields will not protect us, but I am compiling all of the information the away team gathered on the Zeldi and cross-referencing it against our own as well as Portal 6-3's methods. The away team is sitting right here. They survived without getting bioformed, so we know it's possible. So. What's the secret? How do we defend ourselves? Is there a weakness we can exploit? Something we can do to avoid getting bioformed? Well, as simple as it sounds, the best thing to do is to not get caught. Whether it's one-on-one -on -one or the whole ship. We avoided the Takan as much as we could. But we saw the bioforming, and there's not much you can do. I found something that might help. It's too soon to say for sure, but... We've had some promising indications that Deridium can delay the bioforming process. Deridium? It's not a cure. It's not going to bring anyone back we've already lost. But Deridium is a cell stabilizer, so it has the potential to slow down the onset of physical and mental changes 
if not entirely prevent them. And might be the only ship in the fleet with this much deridium on hand. In fact, a lot of ships wouldn't have any. You say that it slows the process, but this doesn't actually stop the Takan from taking over, does it? Correct. I can't be 100% certain, but it appears this is only a short-term solution. Also, it requires a much larger dose to be effective. We don't have enough deridium on board to protect the whole crew. We barely have enough to protect everyone in this room. Sounds like it won't do us much good, then. The use case I'd suggest is that it could buy a little time for an officer or a small group to complete a task or mission. But it has to be taken at the moment of exposure to the bioforming mechanism. Prepare a delivery method for this remedy. That raises the question. What is the mission? The Zeldi's shields were stronger than anticipated. If the Aphelion has even more effective protection, we'll have difficulty breaking through. We may not be able to block the Aphelion's attack either. But if they do strike, we know their weapon uses transporter technology. We might be able to backtrack their signal path like we did to evacuate Captain Rydek from Tau. Exactly. We could send an away team onto the Aphelion. And destroy it from the inside. Modify photon torpedoes to use as explosives. So it's like jujitsu. We use their attack and turn it against them. That's the idea. We'll keep thinking on it. I'd rather not have to take a direct hit to punch back. There might be some other way we can turn their strength into a weakness. I'll have security personnel prep a boarding party, should the opportunity arise. Petty Officers Edsilar and Diaz are the logical choices to lead any away mission to the Aphelion. They have already crippled one enemy ship. If anyone can do so again, it is them. This isn't a rescue. It's a tactical incursion. Do you really have some special insights as Commander Chovak suggests? Doesn't the fact that we're here speak for itself? Just surviving won't be enough this time. We found that only a Takan can operate their technology to its fullest. So, unless we want to try to do this with one hand tied behind our backs, we're definitely going to need an assist from this portal guy. I like that even less. Like it or not, that's the truth. Yes. Portal should be part of the away team. There's no question in my mind. If this is the necessary course of action, I support it. I will compile all the latest data on the tricorders, just in case. In the meantime, I want you working on ways we can combat the Takan tech. Shields, weapons, anything we can use. Yes, Captain. Anything else, Ambassador? I know this matter is in capable hands. Hold the line as best you can. Help is on the way. Thank you. I have faith in all of you to meet this moment with the urgency it requires. I expect all of us to give it everything we've got. Thank you, Petty Officers Diaz and Edsilar. You're dismissed. While we have a quorum of senior staff, there is a procedural element we need to take care of. The Resolute Command Codes must be transferred to Captain Rydek for control of the ship. Of course. Computer, transfer all command codes to Captain Jara Rydek. Voice authorization, Ermot, Echo 4 Lima. Voice authorization, Duval, Beta 2, Yankee. Voice authorization, Westbrook, Alpha 7 Tango. Awaiting your authorization, Captain. Voice authorization, Rydek, Charlie, Seven, Yankee. Captain's codes transfer. The updated command structure is incomplete. Please designate a new first officer. Who is the new first officer? 
Please designate a new first officer. It is my honor to name Lieutenant Bedrosian as the new first officer of the USS Resolute. Wow. Congratulations, Lieutenant. I don't even know what to say. I just... thank you. Computer, Lieutenant Bedrosian is the new first officer of the USS Resolute. Awaiting voice authorization. Voice authorization Bedrosian, Gamma 5-9. Authorization is now complete. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's work to be done. Nicely done. I think that went well. Captain Rydek! Excuse me for a minute. This... this is just unbelievable, unacceptable, inexplicable! To be the most senior officer on the bridge, and to be passed over again? I couldn't believe you went to Lieutenant Bedrosian with the information about Captain Solano being compromised instead of me. This... I've never felt more humiliated. I know how you must feel given your seniority and history aboard this ship. You have every right to be angry, but I had to factor what would best serve our interests at this particular point in time. Which is why I chose Lieutenant Bedrosian. And that... that is the greatest insult of all! One of the most junior officers on the bridge! Bedrosian doesn't have the experience to be an effective first officer. It'll never work. You might as well have chosen Handar! It doesn't make any sense. Bedrosian, of all people. You're obviously entitled to your opinion, but you couldn't be more wrong. Lieutenant Bedrosian is one of the most competent officers I've ever met, and she'll make an excellent first officer. I'll be requesting a transfer off this ship at the first opportunity. Ridiculous. I don't understand. Give me everything she's got, but it doesn't make a difference. Something is actively slowing us down. Keep trying. What's the situation in engineering? I can't raise them. Internal comms are down. It's the ionic interference. It's spiking again. If we reinitialize the central communications trunk, it should compensate. I know the process, Captain. With your permission, I'll go handle it. Of course. The Ophelion's impressive. I'll give them that. If they catch up to us, we better be ready to fight. Maybe we can use Galvin's confidence against them. I'll consider any suggestions from my first officer. We're being pulled out of warp! I've got the Aphelion rapidly bearing down on our position. by the Aphelion. Galvin demands to be heard. On screen. Captain Rydak. Destroying millions of Draconian lives was a fatal mistake. And I will personally make sure you stay alive long enough to regret it. You were right to run, but there is no escape from the inevitable. Let's not kid ourselves. We both know that was just ammunition for you. I saved millions of innocent people from being bioformed. But you can't even save your own life, much less the lives of your crew. We both know I hold your fate in the palm of my hand. That I could crush you in an instant. If I so desired. And as much as I'd like to, you have another purpose to serve. As one of us.
We've hit the lower decks. But there's no sign of structural damage. They were targeting the crew, not the ship. We have to strike back. While we still can. Fire photon torpedoes! Target the source of the beam! Photon torpedoes are having no impact, Captain. We can't get past their shields. The Aphelion's just too powerful. Damage report from the lower decks. Still can't get through on the comms, Captain. If that was the bioforming ray, we have to assume there are now Takan on board the Resolute. They could all be Takan at this point. Or will be soon enough. Seal the bridge. No one gets access without my permission. I think that would be wise. Here are your new tricorders. Go. Get to the transporter room. You're coming with us? A security officer told me your funeral, which I gladly accepted. These are concentrated iridium doses. You need to take the dose as soon as you're exposed for it to be effective. Hell, take it right before if you can get the Takan to wait while you do it. I'm having trouble locking onto the transporter path through the interference. I've done this before. I have to align the transporter with the tetrametric signature. There's a problem. We don't have enough power to make the jump. I might be able to divert power from Stand the... aside. The signal is now resolved. I couldn't let you fumble about any longer. Thanks for that. No need. We must be on our way. I am Portal 63, Guardian of the Decon Empire. Nice to meet you, uh, Portal. We're right behind you. Do us proud over there. Ready to transport. On your order. Energize. Even to me, it's almost a shame we have to scuttle it. The galaxy has never seen a ship like this. It is beautiful. I'll give you that. Resolute, come in! We're losing cohesion. I'm gonna try to use my tricorder as a pattern enhancer. I didn't make it. Oh my god. We have to get to the Cartabula and disable it. Hopefully before the battle group shows up. It's served up for the Aphelion's next meal. I am... saturated in Taconian power readings. I... can't feel the source just yet. This way.
Nothing. I can't reach anyone on the lower decks. Internal comms appear to be fully operational again. That bioforming ray may have transformed dozens of crew members on the lower decks. Fighting the Aphelion is bad enough. The last thing we need is an insurrection on our own ship. Which means we have a narrow window of time to cut them off before. spread throughout the decks. We'll never know who to trust. Lock down the affected areas immediately. Close the bulkheads and erect the containment fields. No one is allowed in or out without my authorization. There could be crew members who weren't affected who could get locked inside. That's a risk we'll have to take. Locking down the lower decks. What happens if some of the bioformed manage to escape? How should the crew engage them? Or should they? We don't want suspicion to run rampant. We should be cautious. If a situation arises, I want phasers set to stun. Of course. I'll let the crew know to proceed with caution. If they're bioformed, they're not our crew anymore. Commander Westbrook has been gone for quite some time. The comm system he went to investigate. It's near the affected area. Commander Westbrook? Commander Westbrook, are you there? Computer shutdown initiated. Westbrook. He's the one who initiated the shutdown. That's impossible. We have ten minutes until the computer core shuts down and all systems are completely offline. A complete loss of all critical ship functions. Only the captain can override it. But the computer core itself... With me. We're just trying to figure out what's happening. Ah, to hell with it. You have to get to the computer core! Go! Master Consul is up there. Captain, are you in here? Are you all right? Ermod asked me to come find you. I came the minute I heard you might be in danger. I'll get this door open. I think I remember the code. I hope you haven't been hurt, Captain. It's not safe here. Chaos in the halls. Tell me, where were you when the bioforming ray hit the ship? I was... Well, I was in the turbo lift. Now just stay still. Ah! These Federation weapons are so primitive. Ah! Ah! Computer termination sequence in progress. Damn it! Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm done playing games with you, Captain. You're only delaying the inevitable. Cancel computer shutdown. everything you believe in. Besides, you and I, we have history. Westbrook and I have history. You're not him. Okay. Okay. Awaiting captain's authorization. Awaiting captain's authorization. Cancel computer shutdown. Voice authorization, Rydek. Charlie. Seven. Yankee. Termination sequence canceled. <sighs> These are the arteries of power coming from the Cotabula at the heart of the Aphilion. I can feel it coursing through my own body. Look there. I cannot move as freely inside this ship. Those emitters are why. If they were deactivated, I could travel past this chamber without setting foot in it. Only Takan can use Takan technology. How do I turn them off? Place these on the emitters. It will suppress their effect. The guards, none the wiser. Got it. I'm coming, too. If we both get caught, it's over. If it's just me, you can try again after I fail. Well then, don't screw it up. Guess we can't teleport the rest of the way. That craft can take us to the main power chamber. No way we can make that jump. When I was younger, maybe. Huh. This might control that craft. Portal, a little help? I should be able to bring it to us. Set to maximum stun. How are they getting up? Something's different about the Takan here. Stunning isn't an option. Get in! He's 
with them! We have to sink that other ship! Shoot the pilot! Ancestors, how do you stand with them? We can't move this without him. What are you doing, old man? They're not real to Khan. They're not your people. I will not harm them. Know where they are. You don't have to tell me. I am the last true born to Khan. But I don't want to see my empire's legacy wiped from existence. Your captain has already destroyed so many. There are limits to what I will allow. Perhaps I have only allowed too much. You know the reasons Captain Rydick did what she did. It was self-defense. You may see each of those identities as an arrow or torpedo to be fired. But they were people. My people. When Riker and the Enterprise first woke me, I called them barbarians. I should have trusted my instincts. These are good and honorable people. Even if their ways are different than my own. In fact, sometimes... Yeah, better. You can look down on us all you want, but we're not barbarians. No matter what you think. You should pay more heed to what I think, Starfleet. <laughs> 